Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Kronos, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Lightning Network. We'll just talk about the basics of what it is and how it works, and then we'll talk about one of the challenges that it's facing as it's under development today. So if you don't know, the Lightning Network is a protocol on top of Bitcoin. The way Bitcoin works today is you give me a public key or a hash of your public key, which is a way for me to pay directly to you. It's like a payment address. And then I send Bitcoin to that payment address, and then we wait for that transaction to be confirmed on the blockchain, which means the transaction gets added to the blockchain, and now you know that I can't reverse the payment. So that takes some time, but the Lightning Network offers instantaneous payments. It's really cool. So here's how it works. Bitcoin offers a different transaction type called a payment channel, which is where you and I both commit to creating a transaction together. Now, the Bitcoin is kind of owned by both of us, but it's already in the blockchain. We can wait for that to commit to the blockchain. Now, when I want to pay you, I can just give you part of the money that's already in that address. And if you want to pay me back, you can just give me part of the money that's in that address also. We're just sending messages messages directly to each other, nothing's getting added to the blockchain. So it's very scalable because the blockchain isn't recording those transactions. It's very private because once again, those transactions aren't going out into the public eye. And it's also very, very fast because you're not waiting for the blockchain. We just instantly have each other's money. And that's really cool because it's cryptographically enforced. Neither of us can steal from each other and yet we can both pay each other instantly. So the Lightning Network takes this a step further. Instead of having a channel directly from me to you, I can have a channel to a person who has has a channel to a node, who has a channel to a person, who has a channel to a node, who has a channel to you. And then the payments can be routed through all of those channels, once again, pretty much instantaneously, and nobody in between can steal the money thanks to the cryptography involved in the transactions. So this makes it possible to make instantaneous transfers on Bitcoin, which is really exciting. But one of the challenges that the Lightning Network is facing today is called the routing problem, which is if I want to pay you, how can I know where the routes are to connect to a node, to connect to a node, to connect to you? Maybe there isn't a route and I need to create a new connection. Or maybe there is, but it's such a large network that it's a very difficult search problem to find. And not only that, but people sending money through the network kind of changes the states of the channel. So it could be that I find a route, but by the time I go to use it, someone else has sent money through it, and now that route isn't valid for me. So basically, this is a very difficult problem to solve in a decentralized way. But some people are saying it's an impossible problem to solve. So I want to address that with this quote that I really like. It says, people who say it can not be done, should not interrupt those who are doing it. I feel this really applies to the Lightning Network because it's a very difficult problem to solve, but we should not run around saying it's impossible. Instead, we should respect and support the people who are working hard on this problem because it's a cool technology and if it can be solved in a decentralized way, we should do everything we can to bring that to the ecosystem. I want to know what you think about this and about the Lightning Network in general, so go ahead and throw your questions and comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.